Seriously? Way up there? Get out of here. No joking? Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, just uh, tell them I'm glad they like it. All right. Thanks, man. Later. Hey, how are you? That was NASA. They just called to tell me that the guys up in the space station can smell what I'm wearing right now. Apparently, my scent bubble reaches far. Wicked far. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You ready for this? Let's go. I got another fragrance review for you guys. This one is coming out of the house of Montal. Now you understand what that phone call was all about. This one is called... Oud Velvet. Have a look at that bottle. Right? Alright? There's a presentation. In case you care. Turn it to the back. You see the name of the fragrance. It's got the signature. Montal Stopper. It's bright purple. Gold lines going across it in diagonal fashion. Let's go. Alright? And here we go. Um, once again, it is coming out of the house of Montal. It is called Oud Velvet. Um, let me tell you people something right now. Like almost every other Montal fragrance out there, this one has absolutely crazy projection, silage, and lasting power. You just have to... I, I cannot even explain to you how long this lasts. I don't really even know, to be honest with you. I don't even know how long this lasts. Let me go ahead and give you the notes. Uh, this is a three-tiered fragrance. Uh, coming in at the top, you have... Somebody, I swear to God. All right, anyway, coming at the top, you have uh, African orange flower, you have Ylang Ylang, and then you have Tiara flower. Done! Middle note, and I do mean note as singular, Oud. Done! Then this fragrance is going to bottom out with uh, Tonka bean, vanilla, and sandalwood. Done. Holy crap, people. It really smells good, all right? Absolutely friggin' phenomenal. I know that uh, Chocolate Bunny mentioned that it was um, very feminine, maybe so on her skin, but not on mine. I got a, uh, a sample from men um, in New York, and uh, when I opened it up, it literally, that little tiny vial practically filled the room with aroma, and it was a good one. And I said, you know what? This is me right here. Everybody around me lost it in my office. They were like, that, what is that? It's absolutely phenomenal. And they're right. The reason why I say it's not totally feminine, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you have oud, even though it's light oud, I'm gonna, this is this is not um, non-existent oud when, when I say that I'm talking about in terms of its presence. It's probably a little bit less than middle of the road. So in other words, Middle of the road would mean a good, you know, uh, amount of oud. You know, end of the road would be like, forget about it. It's going to blow you away. This is a little less below, you know, a little below middle of the road. It, it, you know, this one is not super light where the oud is concerned, but it's definitely detectable. I'm going to get back to what I was going to say originally, and, and it is that simply, if there is a oud in a fragrance... Okay, I don't care how sweet it is. I don't care how, you know, flower bombed it is. It's going to offset total femininity um, and make it a little bit more palatable and wearable for men. Plus, this is marketed toward both men and women. Okay, it is a unisex fragrance. End of story. That's it and that's all. I can wear it. I can get away with wearing it. And I'm going to tell you guys a little story. All right. I'm going to tell you guys something that happened to me the other night. I went to uh, to Epcot uh, the other. Actually, it was last uh, last weekend. I went to Epcot and uh, um, I wore this. I wore this fragrance out. And when I I valeted my car, I actually went to uh, the Beach Club Resort and then walked over to Epcot. When I came back, went back to the resort and I went up to the uh, to the girl to give her my uh, claim ticket to get my car out of valet. So, as soon as I walked up to her, she was like, oh my God. Even before I got to the desk, she was like, oh my God, you smell mad good. That's verbatim, people. That's not 
paraphrasing, I'm not putting my own spin on it. It is absolutely beastly, okay? Um, I own four Montau fragrances, and uh, this is um, the strongest one. They're all strong, don't get me wrong, but this is, uh, and, and I'm going to say significantly the strongest. Um, you know, it's, it's just amazing, and it smells so good. Um, what do I get when I spray it on my skin? Um, I get the tiara flower. I get that. Um, that is probably the most aromatic f uh, flower I have ever put my nose on in my entire life. It's crazy beast. Um, it's sweet. It's very long lasting. Again, not sure how long this lasts. What I can tell you is the only way that you're going to get it off is if you take a shower. If you don't, be prepared to have this sticking around for a long, long time. Okay, and again, tiara being the absolute uh, most dominant note in here, especially at the top, um, completely blowing away the uh, the Lang Lang and the orange flower. You can get um, a little bit of orange in this, but again, the tiara flower is just blowing it away and everything else in its path, just bowling it over like a friggin' M1 Abrams tank. Um, the oud will kick in later. Um, I'm probably going to say after about eight or nine hours, the oud is going to start to kick in. But it's it's not heavy oud. It's it's kind of light. Um, and it slightly offsets the florals. When the bass notes kick in, that's when it starts to get, um, you know, really sweet and woody at the same time. Because you're going to have vanilla, the tonka bean, and then the sandalwood. Um, which is going to make for just an unbelievable fragrance. I mean, this, this is just crazy. And again, to me, it's not... Um, too feminine at all, you know, otherwise I wouldn't wear it. I've worn this fragrance a total of uh, four times. Um, each of the four times that I've worn it, um, I could not tell you how long it lasted. Just simply can't. Um, the longest I had it on was 14 hours, about 14 and a half hours, and, uh, you know, before I had to take a shower. And uh, it showed absolutely no signs of letting up. Now, I can only surmise that it would have to last, the, the way it was going after the, you know, the 14 and a half hour mark, I could only surmise that it would have to, you know, to, you know uh, last a full day. And I'm talking 24 hours, okay? Not a work day, I'm talking a full day, okay? Um, I don't know that for sure, but what I can tell you is, unless the fragrance um, leaps off of a cliff, you know, in terms of how strong it is, and then it just, you know, precipitously falls um, in like minutes time. It has to last that long. It's absolutely ape. You know my motto, remember that? Pump hard or go home? No. No, you can't do that. And I'll be honest with you, I love to be noticed. Good, bad, or indifferent, I love the intention. I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm an attention whore, but you can say that and I wouldn't argue with you. How's that? Because I love my fragrances to be in your face. However, I'm telling you right now, I'm the type of person who will pump off, um, you know, 12 sprays of love, don't be shy. I cannot do that with this fragrance. No friggin' way. Three sprays, and even that's pushing it. Two would be perfect. Two light sprays, not heavy sprays. Okay? And you're done. Any more than that, and it's over. Brilliantly blended. Obviously, the nose behind it is Pierre Montal. Um, you know, it smells absolutely incredible. Um, compliments all over the place when I wear this. Um, probably one of my most complimented niche fragrances to date. Uh, there are still a whole bunch more that I've yet to wear out in public. But, uh, you know, that's basically all I have, people. I mean, I really can't get in any more into this because, you know, Chocolate Bunny did a fantastic job of reviewing this. And like I said, I'm giving it to you from a male's perspective. Um, and once again, in case you missed it, coming out of the house of Montal, it is Oud Velvet. That's it. That's all. I got to get out of here. I'll talk to you later. Peace. I like going to the beach. It has no sand. I like putting other women to swimming on land. Like cooking.